Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Saturday here with the college picks video. Uh, going to be going over a lot of pretty much all the top 25 matchups, so a lot of action to cover in here. So, yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. You guys already know what to do. Check out all my links in the description below. Really good links to hop into. And if you guys like doing player props, go ahead and sign up with Prize Picks, a really cool app. Uh, that specializes on player props and uh, it's super fun to do so go ahead and sign up in the link below and uh, yeah we're gonna hop into it bunch of top 25 matchups um, starting with the Arkansas Razorbacks versus the Georgia Bulldogs Georgia opening up a 17 point favorites with the over under at 48 and a half you can get Georgia on the money line at minus 800, Arkansas plus 675. Um, Arkansas, first time they've been ranked in a long time. 4-0, knocking off two ranked teams with Texas A&M and Texas. Georgia, we know how dominant Georgia is in that defense. Um, Arkansas, 4-2 and covering this spread in their last, last six games against Georgia. Haven't been able to beat Georgia, just 1-8 and eight in their last nine games against Georgia here. Georgia, you know, currently on an eight game winning streak, seven and zero at home. I just think this is a really high number for Georgia. Um, you know, I think Arkansas is going to give him a heck of a game here. 17 points for two top 10 teams here. I'm taking Arkansas plus the points here. Um, very big number for Georgia to cover. Not saying they can't, but um, I expect Arkansas to give him a good battle here. Going to take Arkansas plus the points. Next matchup, we have Michigan versus Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin opening up as two-point favorites with the over-under at 43-and-a-half. Michigan coming off a nice 20-13 win over Rutgers. Uh, been phenomenal to start the season. Wisconsin coming off that pretty embarrassing loss to Notre, to Notre Dame, 41-13. to Have not looked good this season. They really haven't. Um, small sample size, but, uh, you know, bad loss to you know, tough loss to Penn State and then Notre Dame. Um, Michigan, 5-1 and one in their last six. They have struggled against Wisconsin, though. 2-5 and five in their last seven against Wisconsin. 1-6 covering against, against Wisconsin here. Wisconsin, 6-0 and oh covering the spread at home against Michigan. I like Michigan in this matchup. I think they're the better team. Uh, Wisconsin, poor quarterback play. Um, you know, they have a great defense, but Michigan has a great defense and a great offense here. I'm going to take Michigan plus two here. Next matchup, we have the Louisville Cardinals versus the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Wake Forest opening up as seven point favorites with the over under at 62. You can get Wake Forest on the money line at minus 270. Louisville plus 245. Uh, Louisville coming off a 31 to 23 win over FSU. Wake Forest coming off a 37 to 17 win over Virginia. Wake Forest looked really great so far this season. Wake Forest on a six game winning streak at home, four and one in their last five. Louisville um, struggled covering against Wake Forest, just two and five covering the spread against Wake Forest in their last seven. Not a very good road team, just one and six on the road here. I just like the way Wake Forest has been playing. They've been playing really great uh, to start this season. 4-0, sitting you know at the top of the ACC here, looking really nice for them here. I'm going to take Wake Forest in this matchup. Um, maybe buy half a point and get them at minus 6.5. That's probably a better play here. Um, yeah, going to roll with Wake Forest. Next matchup, we had the Cincinnati Bearcats versus the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Cincinnati opening up as two-point favorites with the over-under at 50 and a half. You can get Cincinnati on the money line at minus 120. Notre Dame plus 105. Cincinnati coming off a 38 to 24 win over Indiana. It looked really good in that game. Notre Dame coming off a 41 to 13 dominant win over Wisconsin. Cincinnati 13 and one in their last 14. Four and one covering the spread on the road. Notre Dame. 10 and 0 at home right now, uh, 18 and 2 in their last 20. Yeah, this game's going to be a, a battle. It really is. Uh, you can go either way here, and uh, I think the man, the best way is just take the team plus the points. I like Notre Dame plus the points. I like both teams in this matchup here. 
Um, but I'm going to take Notre Dame plus two in this matchup. Next matchup, we have Louisiana Monroe versus Coastal Carolina. Coastal Carolina opening up as 34-point favorites with the over-under at 57 and a half. I uh, can't get Coastal Carolina on the money line. They're probably massive. They're already massive favorites. Should win by a lot here. Uh, Monroe coming off a 29-16 win over Troy. Coastal coming off that 53-3 win over UMass. Um, Monroe... 0-9 oh, on the road, not a good road team. Just 2-12 in their last 14 games. Coastal, 10-0 and at home, 9-0 and against the Sunbelt Conference. 16-1 in their last 17 games here. Yeah, taking Coastal Carolina, add them to the money line parlay. Should be a nice win for them. 34 points is a lot here. Um, but yeah, we're still going to take. Hard to trust Monroe, plus 34. Coastal Carolina is going to be able to score all over them here. Uh, give me Coastal Carolina minus 34. Next matchup, we have Ohio State versus Rutgers. Ohio State opening up as 15-point favorites with the over-under at 58. You can get Ohio State on the money line at minus 650. Rutgers plus 500. Ohio State coming off a 59-7 win over Akron. Rutgers coming off a 20 to 13 loss against Michigan. Um, yeah, Ohio State 17 and three in their last 20, seven and zero against Rutgers, 10 and zero on the road. Been playing very well here. Rutgers four and two in their last six. They have struggled at home, just four and 16 on the road or at home here. Um, Going to be a tough matchup for Rutgers here. Um, I like Ohio State in this matchup. Um, I'm probably going to buy a point and a half, get them at minus 13 and a half. I think that's a better play. Uh, instead of them having to win by three scores, you can get them to win by two, which looks a lot better. Give me Ohio State minus 13 and a half, and we'll add them to the money line parlay here. Next matchup, we have Oklahoma versus Kansas State. Oklahoma opening up as 11 and a half point favorites with the over under at 52 and a half. You can get Oklahoma on the money line at minus 425, Kansas State plus 355. Oklahoma coming off a 16 to 13 win over West Virginia. Tough matchup there for them. Uh, Kansas State coming off a 31 to 20 loss against Oklahoma State. Um, Oklahoma on a 10 game winning streak, 13 and five against Kansas State, and they're 18 and two on the road. Really great road team here. Kansas State three and six in their last nine. Zero oh, and six against the Big Twelve. Trust me, I watched that whole Kansas State game last week. They do not look very good, uh, especially when they're down and they can't run the football. They have absolutely zero passing attack, like zero passing attack. So if Oklahoma can get up to a nice little lead here forcing kansas state to pass it is not going to go well quarterback play has been very bad for kansas state despite their record give me oklahoma minus 11 and a half and we'll add them to the money line parlays next matchup we have Ole miss versus alabama bama opening up as 14 and a half point favorites with the over under at 79 and a half you can get bama on the money line at minus 600 Ole miss plus 500 um Ole Miss coming off a 61 to 21 win over Tulane. Bama coming off a 63 to 14 win over Southern Miss. Um, Ole Miss seven and one in their last eight, but uh, you know 0 and five against Bama. But they are five and two covering the spread against Bama. Um, one and two on the road against Bama. Uh, Bama on a 10 game winning streak. 20 and 0 at home, unbelievable. 12 and 1 at home against Ole Miss. I think the play here by that point and a half, or by a, just by a point here, get Bam at minus 13 and a half. That's a better play, honestly. Uh, instead of getting having them, instead of having them trying to win by three, have them win by two. It's much more worth it in return. Um, the thing with Ole Miss, especially with Bama games, anytime you get a good team playing against Bama. It just never goes how you want it. That's how it is every single year. Might be close for a second, and then Bama will just come out of nowhere, and now you're sweating for them to Ole Miss to try to work up the offense to try and score on this Bama defense. Not doing it. Give me Bama minus 13 and a half, and we'll take Bama in the money line parlays. 
Next matchup, we have Oregon versus Stanford. Oregon opening up as eight point favorites with the over under at 57 and a half. You can get Oregon on the money line at minus 300. Stanford plus 255. Oregon coming off a 41 to 19 win over Arizona. Uh, Stanford coming off a 35 to 24 loss against UCLA. Oregon five and one in their last six. Had good success against Stanford. 13 and six in their last 19 against Stanford. Uh, Stanford six six and two in their last eight. Three and six covering at home against Oregon. Going to be a tough matchup here for Stanford. Um, yeah, give me Oregon. Love Oregon in this matchup. Uh, yeah, we'll take Oregon and. Um, perfect spot i'm gonna buy a point and a half get about minus six and a half and we'll take oregon here next matchup we have florida versus kentucky florida opening up a seven and a half point favorites with the over under at 56 you can get florida on the money line at minus 305 kentucky plus 270 florida um coming off a 38 to 14 win over tennessee Kentucky coming off a 16 to 10 win against South Carolina, um, Florida 19 and one in their last 20 games against Kentucky six and one on the road here, 10 and zero on the road against Kentucky, Kentucky 0 and 10 at home against Florida on a six game winning streak. But, um, you know, these teams last year when they played Florida winning 34 to 10, as well as Kentucky has been playing here, it's just going to be a tough spot for them to go beat Florida, especially at home where they haven't had success beating Florida. Buying a point and a half, or actually I'm just buying a point, getting Florida at minus six and a half. I feel like it could be a close SEC game here, but I'm going to take Florida uh, minus six and a half here. Next matchup, we have LA Tech versus NC State. NC State opening up as 18 and a half point favorites with the over under at 55. You can get NC State on the money line at minus 990. Um, La Tech plus 740. La Tech coming off a 24 to 17 win over North Texas. NC State, you know, coming off their biggest win of the season here over Clemson, 27 to 21. Um, La Tech just one and four on the road here, two and four in their last six. NC State six and zero at home. 5-0 and against the Conference USA, you know, coming off that really dominant Clemson win, you can say. I think it was pretty dominant. Clemson looked pretty bad. NC State's been really great this season. Really great defense. Offenses look nice. Give me NC State minus 18.5, and, and uh, we'll add them to the money line parlays. Next matchup, we have Baylor versus Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State opening up as 3.5-point favorites with the over-under at 47. You can get Oklahoma State on the money line at minus 175. Baylor plus 165. Baylor coming off a 31 to 29 win over Iowa State. Oklahoma State coming off a 31 to 21 20 win over Kansas State. Baylor. They've struggled against Oklahoma State here. Covering the spread just 5 and 10 against Oklahoma State covering. But they are 5 and 2 in their last 7 against Oklahoma State. Uh, Oklahoma State on a six-game winning streak, seven and one at home right now, eleven and two at home against Baylor. Um, I think it's going to be a close matchup here. Uh, Baylor four and zero. Both teams four and zero should be a battle. Both teams can score. Give me Baylor plus three and a half. Should be a close, fun one here. Next matchup we have the Mississippi State Bulldogs versus the Texas A&M Aggies. Mississippi or AM opening up a seven point favorites with the over under at 46. You can get AM on the money line at minus 290. Mississippi State plus 270. Mississippi State coming off a 28 to 25 loss against LSU. AM coming off a 20 to 10 loss against Arkansas. Mississippi State 0 and 5 on the road here. Uh, AM. You know, eight and zero at home, eleven and one in their last twelve here. Um, yeah, I like AM in this matchup. Coming off that Arkansas loss, I think they get a nice bounce back here. Uh, I'll buy a half a point, get A and M minus six and a half, and uh, we'll roll with the Aggies. Next matchup, we have Boston College versus Clemson. 
Clemson opening up as 14 and a half point favorites with the over under at 46. You can get Clemson on the money line at minus 700. Boston College plus 525. Boston College coming off a 41 to 34 win over Missouri. Clemson coming off that bad, you know, bad loss to, you know, devastating loss against NC State in overtime, 27 to 21. Boston College. They've struggled against Clemson here. 0 and 10 against Clemson. 0 and 7 on the road against Clemson. Um, Clemson currently 0 and 5 covering the spread in their last five games. They are 10 and 0 at home, and then 7 and 0 at home against Boston College. Look, I just don't think you can't. This isn't the same Clemson team. Their season's done. I mean, they they can't get. They're not going to get back to the playoffs. Not a chance. Um, quarterback play has been very bad the offense has not looked good for clemson boston college quietly looking really good here 4-0 they've looked pretty strong getting a nice sec win last week 14 and a half points is a lot for this clemson team that um struggles to score the ball here give me boston college plus 14 and a half next matchup we have indiana versus penn state penn state opening up as 12 and a half point favorites with the over under at 53 and a half you can get Penn State on the money line at minus 460. Indiana plus 400. Uh, Indy coming off a 33-31 to 31 win over Western Kentucky. Penn State coming off a 38-17 to 17 win over Villanova. Um, Indy 2-18 against Penn State. 0-10 on the road against Penn State. Uh, Penn State on an eight-game winning streak. 5-0 and at home here. Love the way Penn State's been playing here. Indiana had a lot of promise here, but they've had some tough matchups, took some L's, barely beat a Western Kentucky team here. Um, I think it's going to be a tough matchup for Indiana here. Penn State just playing really great on offense and defense here. Um, give me Penn State minus 12.5, and, a half and uh, we'll take them on the money line as well. Next matchup, we have Western Kentucky versus Michigan State. Uh, Michigan State opening up as 11 point favorites with the over under at 66. You can get Michigan State on the money line at minus 410. Western Kentucky plus 330. Western Kentucky coming off a 33 to 31 loss against Indiana. Michigan State coming off a 23 to 20 win over Nebraska. Uh, Western Kentucky 0 and 8 against the Big Ten. 1 and 4 on the road here. Michigan State been really great this season um four and one in their last five games here um love the way michigan state's been playing here uh 11 point favorites man they've just been really dominant i think they're gonna beat up on this western kentucky team here um give me michigan state on the money line and um uh give me them minus 11 next matchup we have auburn versus lsu LSU opening up as three-point favorites with the over-under at 56. You can get LSU on the money line at minus 148. Auburn plus 140. Auburn coming off a 34-24 win over Georgia State. LSU coming off a 28-25 win over Mississippi State. Auburn 0-10 on the road against LSU here. Just 4-10 against LSU. LSU 5-1 in their last six. 12-2 12-2 and two at home here. 10-0 at home against Auburn. Man, I think it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough matchup. Both teams, they've showed their weaknesses so far this season here. Um, you know, Auburn, they were struggling last week against Georgia State. Um LSU. Tough matchup here. I just don't love it. Um but I'm gonna roll with LSU here. More on the money line than minus three. I think it's going to be a close game. They've just been dominant against Auburn at home here. And uh, let's hope the tradition still lives. It's going to stick with LSU. Next matchup, we have Arizona State versus UCLA. UCLA opening up as three-point favorites with the over-under at 55 and a half. You can get UCLA on the money line at minus 145. Arizona State plus 140. The last star or last game for Arizona State beat Colorado 35 to 13. UCLA 35 to 24 over Stanford. Uh, last year when these teams did play, UCLA won that matchup 25 to 18. Arizona State 5 and 1 in their last six. Uh, 2 and 5 on the road. Um, 
small spread here. Two pretty good teams. I think it's going to be a close game here, but uh, I think there's a lot more on the line for UCLA in this matchup. They really need to win out to get the recognition they need here. Um, I'm going to stick with UCLA by a half a point, get them at minus two and a half. Or even by two points, get them at minus one. If you think it's going to be close, I think it'll be pretty close here. But we'll take UCLA on the money line. And then the last matchup, we have Fresno State versus Hawaii. Fresno State opening up as 10.5 point favorites with the over-under at 64.5. You can get Fresno State on the money line at minus 400. Hawaii plus 320. Fresno State uh, last played UNLV winning 38 to 30. Hawaii coming off a 41 to 21 win over uh, New Mexico State. Fresno State four and one in their last five. They've had really good success against Hawaii. Eight and two in their last ten against Hawaii, and then five and zero on the road against Hawaii. Hawaii zero and five at home against Fresno State here. Much more meaningful game for Fresno State. Uh, actually being ranked. Um, yeah, love Fresno State here, minus 10 and a half. Uh, like them on the money line as well. Add them to a parlay, and uh, that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.